Hello everyone, Josh here. Today we're gonna have a look at the new Carbon Core God Quad Sensor Bluetooth Equip Mod Master G Shock Watch. Before I begin, I got two announcements to make. First, we already picked the winner for the GA2000 G Shock Watch free giveaway, which I'll announce separately. Second of all, more giveaway will be made starting from this month. All you guys have to do is just keep watching and be alert. Third of all, this Modmaster is insanely incredible and this is a must-have Master of G-Watch in everyone's collection. All thanks to Buy.jp which is the sponsor for today's video. Buy.jp is a proxy shopping service website based in Japan. So if you want to buy anything at all from Japan including these new release G-Shock watches or any one of those at the back, spare parts or even vintage models, I highly recommend you guys to use their website. They've been supporting this channel and I would like you guys to know that I send you guys there by going through the link in the description box below. Let's continue. There are a few ways for me to describe how or what this mod master are all about. But to put it simply, just imagine this is a combination in between a twin sensor mod master with a GWRB1000 gravity master all in one package. Because it has this carbon fiber bezel on top, it has all button operation without any crown, and it is an ADG models. It is also carbon core structure. The watch band is similar as this twin sensor mod master model, including the size, shape, and texture, all the way to the watch band keeper and also the buckle at the same time. And the adapter is similar as the one on this GWRB1000, making it incredibly tough and solid. And the best way for me to describe the function is like a twin sensor mod master again, mixed with a range band triple sensor model, all in one package. And the retail price for this is only. 45,000 Japanese yen, but I paid 34,000 Japanese yen only since I buy it from buy.jp. When you think about it, the price for this is roughly similar as the triple sensor arrangement and this twin sensor mod master. So I gotta say, this one beats both of them at the same time, including the triple sensor mod master as well in terms of function. But the quality, there's no way near to the high end Master of G models. Just keep that in mind. And there's one more way for me to put of how good this model is. It is closely similar to the triple sensor GPS arrangement G-Shock watch. Let me tell you guys why. To better understand on how or what the watch can do, I'm gonna need to fully zoom into the watch face and demonstrate that instead. It operates on Casio 5594, which you could already read on their website before you made your purchase. But regardless, keep watching. Obviously, this is an NADG model with six button operations and right now it is showing the time in the analog and the atmospheric pressure information. Just by pressing the adjust button on top, you can access the time in digital or swap that display to step tracking function which is the first sensor in this watch. It works similarly as the G-Squad model in one package mod master model. And next, you'll have yourself a dated display and back to graph display. Next, if you press this button, you could access the compass function. But in my case, I found that there's a little bit of issue where the hands is going to the right side, but the reading is going to the left side. But I guess I could calibrate this. I'll go back to this feature after this. Next, you'll have the altimeter, which is the third sensor in the watch. Right now, it is showing negative one degree, basically changing heights. Press the mode button to go back to home timekeeping. Press it again to go to the barometer mode. In here, it works similarly as previous triple sensor model, except if you press the adjust button, instead of showing 20 hour range atmospheric pressure change graph, it is now showing us 56 hours range. On average model, the best one will be the range man where this graph has a range to 48 hours. Now we have 56 hours. That is a lot of data and so far, it is super accurate on weather prediction. Next, 
temperature which is the force sensor in the watch next you have recall which is associated with the altimeter reading next sunrise and sunset mode and what i like about the watch is that it has the animations on the side to show you guys the sunrise and sunset time at specific date next a stopwatch to 24 hour range this part is pretty much similar as most g-shock countdown timer to also 24 hour range five alarm without snooze but you do have signal last but not least world time instead of just showing all of this 300 series abbreviations the watch wheel spells all of them out for you and i found it to be really convenient pressing mode button again will bring you back to home time and so far the watch works very much similar as all of these models at the back i gotta say my quad sensor golf master could do most of the thing that this watch could do minus the step tracking feature but when you pair this watch to your phone then the specialty really shines Once you're done pairing the watch to your phone, you could access three important functions that is special to only this watch master. First is the altitude setting. The watch will utilize the GPS of your phone and measure the elevation, meaning you'll have yourself a very accurate altitude reading. Or if you want to manually correct that, use this setting at the bottom. Once you're done, you could use this mission lock, commonly known as flight lock. What it does, basically, it will ping the GPS satellite for every 10 seconds once you turn it on to create a path to where you are going, start and to the end. You can turn it off or turn it on using this altimeter button over here, press and hold it for about 5 seconds instead. Last but not least is the most fun part about the watch is called location point, formerly known as bearing memory. Instead of just showing you the bearing, the watch will now showing you the distance as well. It will utilize this GPS on your phone and calculate the distance and send the data to your watch and you could find a specific points that you firstly need to register in advance and then the watch will just point to you directly without needing the phone anymore. Basically, it works similar as the backtracking function on the GPS range man. Alright, those are the three important parts. The rest are very much similar. You'll have your step tracker and also calorie burn meter. You'll have your world time to 300 series setting and lastly utilities to set the 5 alarm signal and timer. Finally, the illuminations. This watch features two LED lights, one for analog and one for digital and they are insanely bright. It came equipped with auto light functions and also loom on the index including the hands. The luminescence on this all black version could only close the top of the index but if you get the olive green one, it could close the entire index which is better. But if you're looking for a minimalist look, I gotta say the all black version is a go-to watch. And also if you're looking for a Master of G on a budget right now in 2019, I would straight away recommend this watch to you. It could do a lot of things, meaning you could get a lot of values for the price. A few downside though, it is not sapphire, the glass is just mineral, but it does feature a dome shape which could work with the uh, glare and it is indeed pretty much anti-reflective. And the digital display again not as good as the one on high-end master of g third of all it features a non-rechargeable battery this watch aren't solar powered but castle mentioned that it used cr2025 and it could last you for two years with all the things that this watch could do i gotta say it indeed overshadowed for all the things that this watch cannot do and that is impressive Before I end this video, I need to point out one more problem that I just find out about my Modmaster G-Shock watch being the compass function, specifically indicate feature which is the main big function for the watch. In my case, I tried it multiple times, I followed the manual book 5594 but every time I do it, it always fails. Somehow it cannot retrieve the location function from my phone and meaning I cannot use this indicate function at all. Probably I'm doing it wrong somewhere or probably the watch is faulty. Regardless, I'll keep you guys posted in the future. 
and I would like you guys to comment down below if any one of you guys have the similar experience the one like I am right now. That should sums it all. Thank you very much for watching. This is JHF and I'm